Good evening YouTube. Welcome to my channel, Nick the Gardener, and this is my allotment tour for July. Little ladybird. So yeah, all these nasturtiums, cosmos, candy tufts are doing okay. Sunflowers are still growing. <laughs> Put them in ages ago. So I'll pop some dwarf beans in here the other day on Sunday and uh, not been attacked by anything yet so that's all good um, I dug out some more onions along here and some of them were right they didn't have any white rot or anything so uh, well, apart from that one maybe that one got in the wrong pile but um, yeah so I think what happened is when I dug all this over I raked all the bigger bits and all the rubbish up to this edge and this was where that first row of onions was what didn't do very well as I got further in they were a lot better so I'm thinking it's just down to me really not sorting out the soil properly enough up, the, up along this edge so dwarf beans are in onions I think are doing alright now like I said, like I dug some out and they're okay. I'm gonna dig red onions out soon. Potatoes. They're starting to look a bit yellow, some of them. Some of them definitely dying down, like these ones here. You can see, can't you, the colour difference between them and them. And it's all Maris Piper main crop, which isn't supposed to be ready till sort of August, September. But um yeah, looking over them all, these two have definitely gone a bit yellow. And under here, there's a there's a spud there. So I think I'll just cover that back up. When my potatoes at home are finished, these two plants here are going to get dug up. So I might do a potato reveal in the next week or two, probably next week. Have a look in here, the chard and the kale and these beetroots are doing okay. I don't know if you can see through the net very well. But, uh, I've got a few half decent beetroots in there. Got another little cauliflower there. Now that's all another row of cauliflowers. It's a, a couple. So this broccoli here, this broccoli has got a little head on it just there. But it looks like to me it's opening up already. So I've had success with my cauliflowers, but no success with my broccoli. So you win some, you lose some purple sprouting broccoli and that's got ages to go yet so i'm not really worried about that and uh the turnips along this edge they seem to be doing not too bad i've not really had a look around in there um celery what i planted out the other week all seems to have done okay so far i've been watering every single day one thing i did forget to mention when i planted it out is I did put a little sort of circle of well, a mound of soil around each one so when it when I watered it it sort of stayed in there a bit or when it rained which hasn't rained yet so I popped in a couple of marigolds because the cosmos got hit by a slug and uh, that's not too bad I'm glad this little one was in here because I'll show you another nasturtium in a minute it's just gone mental Miss Sunflower quite big some spinach has gone to seed in there, so I'm going to have to get that out soon. I'm going to have to get in here and whip off some of these yellowing leaves and stuff. But yeah, I'm trying to keep up with picking it all, it's just growing too quick. So I did actually plant some multi sown leeks along here. So I'm thinking, because I've got lots of turnips to go in here, I'm thinking I'm going to dig these multi sown leeks out and plant them on the other side. Um, when I've got space for them, when the rest of the other onions come out, all the, that first row of potatoes, I might put a couple of rows of leeks in. So this Brussels sprout's doing okay. Well, really well, actually, that one. This nasturtium here has gone absolutely mental. The bees are flying around living it again. So I've got more leeks along here, this back row which I might dig out, well some of them actually individual now anyway, I did multi sow them but uh, I think through weeding I've taken a couple out by accident 
But uh, yeah, these onions aren't doing that great because I think the rat has got in here. There's a hole there and a hole just there. So, and a hole just here. So they've moved up from the compost bin and they've moved into my onions and brassica bed now. So that means war. Cabbages are hearting up, okay. And I think that one over there is probably the best one because it's got the most sun. But yeah, I'm quite happy with how a couple of my bristles are doing. Um, hopefully we'll get some sprouts for Christmas. The borage is pretty much gone over. Might have to trim that back a bit. Well, there's still a few on there, still a few bees. I'll probably wait for the other borage to grow back first, actually, before I trim that back. Cosmos here is looking good. Potatoes this side, like I say, a bit better. I'm just wondering if the labels got mixed up and they're not, and they're not early or something. The peas, these snow peas now are doing really well. And I've noticed I've got a volunteer tomato plant there. Which has got some flowers on it. Actually, it's got little tomatoes on it just there. Um, I did actually have a decent crop of peas off here the other day, believe it or not. <laughs> I know they look absolutely terrible when they are, but uh, I've had a couple of meals out of them, so, and they're fixing a bit of nitrogen into the soil, hopefully. And then this beast, then this beast, a volunteer sunflower, it's gone mental.